All right, let's take a look at VEX code and how we can use it on our VEX IQ robot. Um, so what I've got here today, let's just go through the basic steps. I have got just a basic VEX IQ robot that I've set up, um, not from any plans, but the thing to know about it, it's got a very simple claw and the, a little button, distance sensor at the front, all things that we can use to calibrate. Let's put that back down here and let's take a look at the software. So I'm going to jump in here right away. Now the first thing you need to do to just get started with VEX IQ code blocks is set up your remote for driver control. Now very basic, very first step, um, but to do it we're going to click on this motor up here and that's going to bring up the devices menu. From here we can click on the plus and start adding devices. So we've got a couple options. We've got our controller, we've got a basic two motor drivetrain, a four motor drivetrain, individual motors, and then the sensors with the VEX IQ system. Now for the case of what I'm doing here with this robot, and probably most of the robots we'll see out there, it's going to be a two motor drivetrain. So what I'm going to do is click on that, and it's going to prompt me um, to add which motors I want to use. So in the configuration of the robot I have, I've got the left motor as number one, so I just clicked on that. The right motor is in port six, and I've got a gyro on my robot. If you don't have a gyro, just uncheck it. Um, my gyro is plugged into port 7. My wheel size, I'm using the standard 200mm VEX IQ wheels, and I'm running at 1 to 1 gear ratio. So pretty straightforward there. I click done, and you're going to see the drivetrain device show up here. And at the same time, over in my code blocks, you'll see that I've got a new section for drivetrain. So that wasn't there a second ago, and all these new blocks showed up when I added that in. As you add devices, new blocks are going to be showing up in your VEX IQ um, codes over here. All right, so that's my drivetrain. I've got some other devices uh, on this robot that I'm going to add in. So I'll add another one. Um, we'll add a motor for the claw. So the claw motor, I've got that in port 4. We'll call that claw. and done and then I've got another motor for my arm so we'll go motor again um, this is going to be in port 5 so we'll call that arm and it's actually this one is reverse so I'm just going to click that reverse switch it might take some playing around for you to decide if they're normal or reversed but pretty much if something's going backwards after the next step, you can come back in here and edit that. So for now, I'm just gonna keep those basic things. I just wanna show you how to program basic driving. All right, so I've got my two motors, my drivetrain. I haven't added in my touch sensor, my bump sensor, my distance sensor. That stuff will come at another stage. All right, so one more thing that I do need to add is the remote control. So I'm going to come in, I've got my control here, and from here to set up the basic driver control, I can just click on the buttons. So I've got here, this is left joystick doing all the work, right joystick doing all the work. This is left joystick forwards and back, right joystick um, side to side, and everyone's favorite tank control where the left joystick does one side and the right joystick does the other. So that's configured that. And I can click on these back ones as well and say, okay, well, that is going to be for the claw and that one's going to be for the arm. So real straightforward as far as setting this up at a basic level goes. I click done and you can see this is all set up. At this stage, I'm going to minimize that. Um, oh, just notice that this is green. If this is a different color, you might have to change your firmware or update it. Um, all right, so I'm going to download this to the robot. It's going to prompt me to save. I don't know if you can see the save window on the display, um, but I'm just going to call it today's date. So what is it today? It's March 4th. March 4, 2021. We'll save that somewhere where I'll be able to find it. So that's uploaded to the robot now. If I hit run, it should start. 
So on my remote, we should have forward, backwards. There's my claw moving. And there's my lift coming up and down. So as simple as that, we've got basic driver control on this robot. That will be the end of the first video. Thanks, guys.